we are receiving some breaking rumors that new Tesla Semi test units are reportedly being built at Gigafactory Nevada. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news analysis and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Simon Alvarez is reporting from TeslaRadi.com saying recent rumors from the electric vehicle community have suggested that for new Tesla semi trucks units are actually four new Tesla semi units are being built at Gigafactory Nevada the vehicles which are reported equipped uh, reportedly are equipped with 21 7L battery cells would be utilized for road durability and cold weather testing the update, uh, Simon Alvarez says, on Tesla's apparent semi truck initiatives was shared recently by electric vehicle advocate um, uh, at, um, uh, at Carsonite, who tweets at Carsonite on Twitter, who has proven familiar with Gigafactory Nevada's activities. Citing an unnamed source, the EV advocate noted that the new Tesla semi units. Uh, will feature three 21.7L battery packs. Two units will reportedly be used for road testing, one for durability testing, and another will be sent to Alaska for cold weather testing. If you remember, we have already sent, uh, we have already seen some Tesla semi trucks in the past and reported coming from Alaska or near the Alaskan border, apparently for cold weather testing. Here is what Carsonite said: There are four Tesla semis being built at GFNV, which is Gigafactory. Giga factory in Nevada. They will use the new higher density 2170L cells, remain, means battery cells, from Gigafactory in Nevada, not the 4680 batteries. By the way, I still have 4680 batteries coming in this report from Gigafactory in Nevada. So these uh, not, will not be 4680 batteries by the 70, uh, 2170L battery cells. He says there will be three packs in a row, each half a long as Model S. There will be two for road testing, one for durability testing, and one for Alaska. It says cold weather testing. The source does not know if Nevada or Texas will be the location of assembly line. My best guess is Texas. After all, why is Tesla building Gigafactory Texas? It's huge land, huge place. So, uh, Simon Alvarez from Tesla Radio also says, quite unsurprisingly, the notion of the new Tesla semi my prototypes using higher density 217L battery cells incited some strong reactions from the electric vehicle community, especially considering that the electric car maker has already announced its shift to 4680 battery cells for its vehicles. The semi truck is one of the Tesla's most ambitious projects after all, and thus it would make sense for the company to utilize its best battery technology available for the vehicle. But who knows, maybe this 2170 battery is more dense than the 4680, which Tesla will pro probably plan to use for its uh, sedans and the side Truck? I don't know. But Simon Alvarez says that being said, Tesla's tabless 4680 battery cells are designed to work uh, seamlessly with the company's structural battery pack. Such a design, which uses the battery as a structural component, may be quite challenging to accomplish in a class 8 uh, semi truck like the Tesla semi, at least for now. It should also be noted that Tesla is still producing 2170 battery cells from Gigafactory Nevada with the company's 4680 cells only being manufactured at the Roadrunner facility in Fremont. Our friend uh, Ray, who tweets at Ray for Tesla, said uh, company um, said it's very interesting. And another uh, Tesla enthusiast named Antoine said 4680 is used to combine with structural battery pack on a semi. Structural efforts are way different. It could be logical Tesla do not need or can't use structural battery pack, so use 2170 cells, which will be more available when um, Tesla car fleet converts to 4680 uh, and that will be logical. 
Of course, concludes Simon Alvarez, saying Tesla is a company known for rolling out improvements to its vehicles as soon as they are available. Even if Tesla does end up releasing the semi in the near future with 2170L cells, there is little doubt that this vehicle will be updated with a structural battery pack and 4680 cells. For now, at least, it appears that the Tesla Semi program at least is moving forward and Tesla's Class A truck is moving closer to its release. Now, speaking of batteries, Tesla 4680 battery cells will be produced by Panasonic starting 2021. We had reported earlier um, that uh, Panasonic apparently was setting up uh, lines to pro in Giga Nevada to produce Tesla's 4680 batteries, which Tesla announced in November in the battery cells and today based on Nikkei Asia review Maria Merano from Tesla Radi says Panasonic will start producing prototypes of Tesla 46AD uh, battery cells as early as 2021 according to a recent report from Japanese media the tech conglomerate is planning to expand its capacity in Gigafactory Nevada by 10% next year in 2021 and is reportedly exploring a big battery venture in Norway at the same time. According to Nikkei Asia, Panasonic will build a prototype production line for the Tesla 4680 battery cells, quote unquote, at existing facilities. The wording of the report suggests that the Asia-based battery supplier, Panasonic, may be building multiple prototype production lines. The project is estimated to cost tens of millions of dollars. In an October briefing, Panasonic's chief financial officer, Hirokazu Umeda, if you remember, stated that the company started preparing to produce Tesla's 46AD battery cells as soon as the EV manufacturer unveiled it during the battery day. You can find that report at Torque News YouTube channel by just searching uh, Umeda's name and uh, Tesla and 46AD batteries with Panasonic. He said then, we have considerable know-how for the battery, Umeda said. We started working on it immediately after Tesla's battery day and are also preparing to set up a prototype production line in parallel. Tesla's 46AD battery cells could herald price parity between the electric vehicles and its internal combustion ancestors. The electric vehicle automaker's 46AD battery cells are expected to have five times the energy density and six times more power than Tesla's existing batteries. Tesla's new cells are also predicted to cost 56% less to produce per kilowatt hour. In fact, speaking of the price, recently I reported that for the first time ever in history, in China, uh, a company reached a battery uh, parity, battery price, score, uh, price battery uh, reaching $100 per kilowatt hour, which like I said, is the parity level at which if the electric car manufacturers manage to produce a battery per kilowatt hour less than $100, that means building electric vehicles will be uh, more efficient, more economically viable than building gasoline cars. And apparently this car company in, in, Japan, in uh, China, I don't remember all the details right now, but you can find that at Torque News, um, battery parity, but if you search like that, and this was achieved in a bus not in a sedan or car but in a bus but battery prices have been fall have been falling dramatically and i will not be surprised if that parity level in cars will be achieved in 2021 so to illustrate uh, uh tesla's 46 ad batteries efficiency tesla teardown expert sandy monroe estimated that the model y will use only 960 of the new cells in its structural battery pack. Well, let's see how things go and uh, what we will see. It looks like 
2021 will be a revolutionary year in adopting electric vehicles, in producing electric vehicles, and more as more and more companies are coming up. Even we're expecting Toyota's uh, solid state batteries coming in 2021. Toyota has has been speaking more about electric vehicles. So this is going. 2020 was already a revolutionary year in this regard, but 2021 will be the year that will put things into. Um, into uh, production in the meantime i'm looking forward to see those two and uh, those four new tesla semi test uh, trucks that are being built apparently in gigafactory in nevada if you guys have heard anything please let me know in the comment section below uh, if you may be working for giga nevada or something like that unless it's a, a secret i don't want you to breach your company commitments it's not fair and it's not right but uh, if it's not a secret i would like to hear more from you in the meantime this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news coverage and analysis and ring the notification bell after you subscribe so you don't miss my next coverage. Have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you and see you soon in our next report.